Hi guys, so I just put out a me uh, message about respect and I actually forgot some things. He just reminded me about some things that I forgot and he just wants you guys to know now that he, you guys know that people are, they have respect for you and even those that you know will up against you, they have no choice but to respect you. The Lord's saying it's time for you to respect yourself. However that resonates with you you'll you'll know exactly what he's talking about when you hear these words the lord says now it's time for you to respect yourself and you know everyone's situation is going to be different but when when you hear this sentence it's going to hit your spirit different it's going to hit, hit your spirit and you're going to automatically know what he's talking about for one person it may be you know Maybe somebody always says yes to people and they never stick up for themselves and say no. Maybe they're all they're too nice. Maybe they're always giving to people and you know they're not respecting themselves. And for someone else, it may be as simple as you know being in a toxic friendship or toxic relationship or being around people that mistreat them and choosing to stay when they have the authority to leave. You get what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever it is that resonates with you with this in this situation, the Lord wants you to respect yourself. Respect yourself. Because what he's doing in this next season is he is showing people. Your anointing is about to shine through and he is showing people that they have no choice but to respect you whether they like it or not. Therefore, if God is advocating on your behalf, you have to also respect yourself. God can't tell people to respect you and you're not respecting yourself. So you know exactly, specifically what he's talking about when relating to you in whatever situation. You already know what he's saying. I know for some, I know for someone specifically, you've been saying to yourself, I want to be celibate. I want to not be intimate with anybody. I want to wait, God. I want to wait for my person. But no matter what, I'm, and this is a specific, this is a specific word that he gave me. I'm like, God, do I have to say it in this specific scenario? And he just keeps nudging me to say it. But someone's like, I want to be absent. Like, I want to be, you know, I want to be celibate. I don't want to be intimate with anyone. But there's this particular person that you love, that you're, you love and you want to be with so badly. And it's like, you're like, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. But every time this person hits you up and calls you, it's like you, you're so quick to give it to them. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, you may, I'm not sure if this is your kingdom partner or this is someone that you want to be your kingdom partner or this is, if this is someone that you're trying to release and it's been hard, but you've been saying to yourself, I want to not be intimate with anybody and it's been hard. You keep giving in. You keep saying, okay, I'm celibate and then you keep giving it up. You get what I'm saying? And God is saying you have to respect yourself. Before he even places you with your kingdom partner, you have to have that form of respect for yourself to say, you know what, I'm going to not be intimate with anybody. You know, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to take care of myself emotionally, mentally, spiritually. I'm not going to be intimate with anybody. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to pray. I'm going to fast. I'm going to focus on me, focus on my health, focus on my business, whatever it is that you're focused on. If God is preparing you to be a husband or preparing you to be a wife, you got to start respecting yourself. Which means now you got to cut ties with flings, old flings. People that you had one night stands with or people that you just had a friends with benefit relationship with. I know I'm calling somebody out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He put this in my spirit. <laughs> Literally. And I'm like, do I have to say something, God? And he was like, say something. The friends with benefit has to be cut off. The flings have to be cut off. You get what I'm saying? If that person ain't putting a ring on it and you still sleeping with them, you got to put pause on that. Like, no, you shouldn't be sleeping with them. You get what I'm saying? Like, God really wants you to respect yourself. If you're a male and you're looking for your kingdom wife, you shouldn't be talking to 10 females at once, five females at once, three females at once, and, you know, sleeping with a bunch of females at once, one or two females a week. No, that shouldn't even be happening. Do you guys know about sexually transmitted spirits? Sexually transmitted demons? You can transfer spirits through sex. That's how the Jezebel spirit also gets a hold on people. You know what I'm saying? That's how the Jezebel spirit gets a hold on people. You know? And let me tell you something. The more you start respecting yourself and you don't tolerate nonsense, you don't tolerate BS, you don't tolerate certain things, ghosting, you don't tolerate any of that nonsense, when you meet your husband or you meet your wife, they're going to have a high ranking of respect for you. 
which means once they know who you are they're not going to be able to do a lot of the things that you may have dealt with in the past they know that when it comes to you they have to come correct they know when it comes to you you are highly favored you are a child of god you are anointed that you're not someone they can play with speaking of that i have a message about kingdom marriages that god wants me to put out right after this but they know you're not someone to play with and how is your husband and wife gonna notice about you if you don't even have that same respect for yourself men listen men are not stupid men observe women they observe women they observe how you respond to things they observe how you react in certain situations they observe you know your thinking they observe a lot about you women observe men too but what i'm trying to say is like if you're waiting for your husband and you think someone's your kingdom husband or you think someone's your kingdom wife and you're tolerating certain things how's this person gonna respect you you gotta respect yourself first and when this person sees that you're respecting yourself they know that being with you there's certain things you're not gonna tolerate and then they're gonna come in that relationship with you or come into that union with you on a whole nother level on a respectful level you get what i'm saying so i don't know whose scenario that is but the lord just the lord called you out <laughs> You need to start respecting yourself because what he is doing in this new season is he is he is advocating for a lot of us. And how is he going to advocate for us if we don't even respect ourselves? You get what I'm saying? So he wants us to respect ourselves. Okay. I've already been working on my respect, me respecting myself for a very long time. So I'm just letting you know when you start respecting yourself on that level, trust me god is gonna let your person know and then they're gonna know as well they're gonna know they can't mess with you in that way as in they can't play mind games with you they're gonna know that god is serious when it comes about you you know so and you're you're listen when you are celibate your relationship with god gets a lot stronger your gifts get a lot stronger and you're a lot more your discernment's a lot more sharper too your discernment's a lot more sharper. Like, you can literally... You you know things... You know a lot before it happens. It's like you can easily read people when you're celibate. Your discernment's sharp. You know? So, yeah. Whoever this is for, it's time to get on that level. Okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.